Hey guys, in this lecture we are going to discuss the characteristics of physical changes and chemical changes. We already know that a physical change is one in which the shape, size, color, texture, pattern, etc. blah 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 physical characteristics of a compound may change while its chemical composition remain intact. That is, there is no change in its chemical composition. While if we talk about chemical change, it is a permanent one. That is, an original substance will basically lose all its chemical properties and will give rise to a new substance which will have different physical as well as chemical properties. So let us now discuss all the characteristics of physical and chemical changes. The first characteristic of the physical change is that physical changes are temporary. That is, after a physical change occurs, we can get back to the original substance by reversing the reaction. Now, but whenever we talk about chemical change, a chemical change will be irreversible. That is, this change is permanent and the new substance cannot be well travels back to the original substance. Well, in terms of physical changes, if we say, then no new substance is formed in a physical change. While if a chemical change or a chemical reaction take place, well, different chemical composition of substances change and they give rise to one or more new substances. Then again, if we talk about physical change, there is no, well, change in mass or we can say that there is no apparent change in the total mass while in case of chemical changes respective masses of two particles can be increased or decreased because if we undergo a chemical reaction then the reactants will be different than the product. So if I am talking about let us say even copper sulphate also then copper sulphate when undergoing reaction with zinc will become zinc sulphate plus copper. So copper sulphate basically has reduced its mass and has become zinc sulphate while zinc has basically gained its mass to zinc sulphate but the overall the overall mass of the reaction will remain unchanged by the law of conservation of mass. Also there is no change in energy that will occur in case of physical changes or even if there there will be a very small change that too in terms of heat and light. But if we talk about chemical changes there definitely will be a change in energy and this change in energy will be in the form of heat or light or maybe in any other form of radiation.